Hey guys, my name is That Quiet Kid, and in this video, I am going to show you how to perform an SMB relay attack. But before understanding SMB relay, let's talk about LMNR poisoning. So let's say you make a DNS query inside your local network saying, "Hey, I want to access a particular share," but your DNS query fails because that share doesn't exist. So what happens is when the DNS query fails, your host makes an LMNR like broadcast an LMNR request to all the hosts inside your local network saying, "Hey, does anyone have the particular share I'm asking?" Now the main thing here is LMNR like protocol does not have an authentication mechanism. So like anybody can respond to the LMNR request. So hacker might say, "Hey, I have this share you are asking for just come connect to me so as soon as you connect to it it captures the credentials like credential of the user who was trying to connect to that particular share so this is what lmnr poisoning here is so let's visualize it a bit let's say you have a b and c three systems in your network a says a makes a dns re uh, request regarding this it share saying hey I want access to this IT share. Your DNS query fails, then it goes to LMNR. So basically, broadcast an LMNR, LMNR request to this and to this as well, saying, "Hey, do any of you have this share?" And these two also doesn't have this share. But I told you, anybody can respond to an LMNR request. Basically, this hacker here will say, "Hey, I have this share. You are particular." particular share this it share you are asking for just come and connect to me so as soon as it connects to the hacker the credentials are captured and that is what we called lmnr poisoning so let's see this in action first so first of all we need to check the ip config that is ip of my machine the labs are in nat network now uh, i am creating a new lab which i will be posting very soon an active directory hacking lab so this lab will be in nat network and you can see the interface is eth0 10.0.2.26 is the ip and interface is eth0 so let's turn on the responder you can see we have http and smb server on so basically when this http and smb server on it means capture the authentication request and store the credentials let's make an lmnr request from this domain controller Okay, so go to your file explorer and let's try to access a share that does not exist as soon soon as you have done that on your machine like Kali machine you will see that authentication okay previously captured hash for browser guts so it has already captured the credentials of guts user okay let's try it from a different user turn on responder let's change the user from guts to makima make a request to a share that does not exist does not exist and on your Kali you see that we have captured the credentials of Makima user that is the NTLM v2 hash now when you have an NTLM v2 hash you can do two things first is try to crack it second is you can try to relay it to other host and basically gain access to multiple hosts inside the network so that is what smb relay is 
basically instead of like storing the credentials here we relay it to multiple hosts so for that we need to uh, make a few changes so edit the configuration file of responder and turn off SMB and HTTP so that instead of storing it relays those credentials to NTLM relay and now NTLM relay will relay that to multiple hosts in the network and dump SAM SAM is uh, the like local ashes in your the, on your device so for that we are going to use mtlm relay x mtlm relay x dash tf targets dot txt dash smb2 support smb2 dash smb2 support is uh, in case you have smb version 1 set to false we are using smb version 2 for that we are using smb2 support and targets dot txt contains a list of host on which we are relaying so i can show you nano targets dot txt i have the my first domain controller 16 20 is my second domain controller dc2 and 28 is my windows 10 host so you can see that i have turned on dc1 dc2 windows 10 so these are the three hosts we are going to be relaying to and i have not added the fourth machine that is server one in this target dot txt because you cannot like uh trigger like uh, you can cannot capture and relay to the same host like if the authentication request is coming from server 1 you cannot relay it to the same host so that's why i have removed this from this targets.txt so again run responder and for my lab i have basically set up a scheduled task so that as soon as the system boots up it will make a request to access a share that is named share so the name of the share it's accessing is also share so it will make an uh, like request to access a share using the credentials of the guts user so i have started my responder http server off smb server off ntlm relay is on okay so as soon as i turn on this server one it will make a request to access a share that is share name of the share is also share access that share and basically responder will capture that credentials and then LT NTLM relay will relay it to all the hosts like three hosts apart from server one in the local network so we just need to wait for it we will see that poison answer sent to like this 10.0.24 which is our server one IP uh, poison answer sent to this for share share we just need uh, time for the system to boot up okay it has already booted up we, okay you can see that poison answer sent to 10.0.2.24 for name share so i told you i have set up a scheduled task as soon as the system boots up it will make a authentication request like it will try to access a share named share on your relay you see that okay so connection from berserk.local guts connection coming from 10.0.2.24 and attacking 10.0.2.16 that is our first domain controller authentication request succeed connection coming from guts 22.24 uh, targeting 10.0.2.20 which is my second domain controller and you can see that the authentication was uh, success again and lastly coming from 10.0.2.24 and attacking 10.0.2.28 i told you it attacked all the three hosts that I placed in the targets.txt. So I had four hosts in my device. You cannot capture and relate to the same host. So it has successfully succeeded in authenticated authenticating to all the three hosts in your network. And it has dumped the SAM that is the local hashes. So as you can see that dumping done dumping SAM hashes for host 10.0.2.20, 10.0.2.16, and Ten dot zero dot done dumping hashes for ten dot zero dot two dot twenty eight. So we can talk uh, like we can uh, verify that the captured credentials are valid, that it is a valid local like local account that quite kid on ten dot zero dot two dot twenty eight. Open up another tab. Uh, let's use 
crack map exact to verify it crack map exact smb 10.0.2.28 the user was that quiet kid and dash his hash nt hash this and dash dash local auth because it's a local user i told you sam basically contains the local hashes stored on the system as you can see we have this valid credential now so it has dumped the sam you can you might say that it has also it also has a administrator hash but i should tell you uh, i have not enabled the local administrator account on this 10.0.2.28 you see that 31d6 this basically means this account is disabled you can again verify it using crack map exact smb 10. 0.2.28 dash u administrator dash h dash dash local auth okay status account disabled as i told you i have not enabled the local administrator account on this machine so it has dumped the hash but this account is disabled so as you can see, we have successfully dumped the SAM on all the hosts. So a few conditions are required for this attack to work. The systems on which you are relaying must have SMB signing set to false. Like if SMB signing is set to true, then this attack won't work. Relay won't work because there is a special signing required on the packets. We could only relay it because the SMB signing was false on this domain controller and like three machines i can show you simply do crack map exact smb i think it takes a file okay you can see that signing falls on windows 10 signing falls on dc2 and signing falls on dc1 so all these systems have signing smb signing set to false that's why we could relay the capture credentials and dump the sam so that's it for this video and thank you for watching.